What's going on guys? Welcome everybody back to another player review. So today we're going to be looking at 86 rated inform David Alaba. Now his his inform is coming in at around 30,000 on the PlayStation and 35 to 37,000 on the Xbox. Now his ones to watch, this does mean his ones to watch is going to go ahead and get the upgrade. And I know a lot of you guys will be, you know, joining this going like, you know, When's he going to give an upgrade? Because sometimes EA are quite slow when it does come to these ones to watch upgrades. As you can see, this has not been upgraded. He's still only an 84 rated. Now, he should be upgraded in the next couple hours, but if not, then it'll be at the next 6 p.m. content drop. It's just EA do slack with these things. I don't know why they don't do it instantly. But either way, boys, if you're interested in his inform, he's currently 30,000, or I picked him up for 34,000 coins on a PlayStation. Now, he's 5'11", with medium, medium work rates. He's left-footed, freestyle skills with a four-star weak foot, Attributes wise, now we have gone for a shadow. I actually do have to get a little league uh, manager up here so he does get to full chem. But I was actually just sidetracked and I was looking at his stats before, and he looks like such a good uh, CDM. And he is a versatile player. I know he used to play CDM in real life as well. I'm not sure if it was for Bayern. I think it might have been Bayern, but I know for Austria he played CDM in real life. I mean, he would actually be make a really good CDM in FIFA as well. He's only got two orange stats, and that's his finishing and his volleys, which aren't even necessary for a uh, central defensive midfielder. Now, for, with a shadow, he goes to 89 pace in-game, 90 acceleration with 89 sprint speed. His shooting of 72 doesn't matter. I mean, if you're playing him as a centre-back, that's more than enough. Passing is absolutely class with 87 short passing. Um, he's got 87 free kick accuracy in there as well. Dribbling as well, he's going to be a smooth, uh, a sm quite smooth on the ball. 5'11", 86 ball control, 90 reactions. Defensively as well, he's exceptional with a shadow. He does go to 99 slide tackle, 95 at stand tackle, uh, 93 awareness, 81 hitting accuracy, and 97 interceptions. Physical wise, his strength of 80 and, and 78 aggression isn't crazy. Um, so if you were to play him centre back, which I am going to play him centre back in game, I would recommend pairing him up with a more larger, stronger centre back. So you do have that option. To, obviously, you have that defensive style, strong centre back, and you've got Alaba who will feel good on the ball, and you can push forward with him a little bit. He does not have any player traits, but overall what a card this looks like and for only 34,000 coins this could be up there for a very high rating if he can perform as the stats do suggest now an update on the current leaderboards for play reviews in first it is David Ginola with a 9.4 followed closely in second by Inform Rafinha with a 9.3 and in third one swatch to Liska with a 9.2 remember ratings are decided on how they perform for me and also their value so 34,000 coins is Alaba worth it hopping into the gameplay I'm not going to lie, this Alaba card really surprised me. And I mean, we faced a team, as you can see on the screen, he had Neymar, he had Messi, he had Mbappe, his back line was class. And what did David Alaba do? David Alaba was absolutely class. I mean, it's not a great you know, time. He did end up losing the ball. So he won the ball and then he did get out strengthened. And I did notice he did actually get out strengthened a little bit. But that's just what you expect with him. He's only got like 80 strength and 79 aggression. But other than that, he is very close to the perfect center back and one of the best I have used this year. Now, as you can see with David Alaba, the beauty of his card is you can use him and you can push him forward and have another outlet of attack that way. As you can see, we actually lost the ball with David Alaba. Now, I actually, I'm actually i going to keep this clip running because we won it back and we did the whole thing again. This just sums up what David Alaba can do. He feels really good on the ball. I mean, like I said, we lost the ball before from a, a speed run, if you will. So what did we do? We did it again. And he is very, very good pushing forward as long as, as I said in the intro, as long as you pair him up with a center back who is going to be, you know, stronger, who's going to be someone that, you know, is always back. Like, if you were to pair him up with a center back, ideally, it would be a tall, strong, amazing aggression, amazing physical, and like a medium high work rate uh, center back. So you've always got that defensive center back there, and that will allow you to push Alaba up the pitch a little bit. Now, as you can see in the bottom left, pace we've given an 8 out of 10, passing we've given an 8 out of 10, dribbling we've given an 8 out of 10, defending a 9, and physical an 8. He was one of the most well-rounded cards I have used yet. He was genuinely a really, really good, really, really good card, and you could easily get away with playing him as a central 
central defensive midfielder as well if you really wanted to. Like, he was absolutely class. Four pros have gone for passing, we've gone for 90 reactions, defending, and we've gone for versatile. By that, I mean you can play him center back, you can play him CDM, you can play him center mid if you wanted to. You could even play him left back. Chuck a shadow on him, 89 pace, chuck him, left back. He used to be a left back, I believe, was it two FIFAs ago? In FIFA 20, he was a left back card. He can honestly do it all, lads. Now, Kimstall, obviously, we have gone for a shadow. 33,000 coins on the PlayStation and 39,000 on the Xbox is literally bizarre i have no clue how he is this cheap his ones to watch is coming in at like i think 60,000 to 60 to 65,000 on both consoles I, I just don't know how he's this cheap boys like made no major cons i couldn't find anything wrong with him I would say strength is borderline a con for a center back. He's got like, what, 80 strength, but still, in my opinion, 80 strength is not quite enough for me to actually consider it a con. Overall, if I was to describe the type of center back he is, he feels a lot faster than 79 pace. With a shadow, he goes to 89 pace in game, but he still feels a lot faster than 89 pace. If I was to say how fast he felt, I'd probably say he feels like he's 92, 93 pace with a shadow applied. And you know why? It's because of his good agility, it's because of his good balance, and it's because he's only 5 foot 10 or 5 foot 11. So once he's like, you know, not as tall, relatively short, his dribbling stats are actually really good as well. It just makes him feel a lot faster and smoother on the ball. And like I said, having a center back with his good dribbling, and, and feeling as good on the ball as Alaba, it gives you another really good outlet to kind of push forward with him and start an attack or go for a little bit of a run with him, which you saw in a couple of those clips before. So for the overall rating, boys, based on value and how he performed for me out of 10. Now, if you guys remember correctly, with the play review leaderboards, in first, as it stands, it is currently David Ginola with a 9.4. Second is Inform Rafinha with a 9.3. And third is Ones to Watch Taliska with a 9.2. David Alaba, I'm going to go ahead, boys, and I'm going to give him a 9.3, which means the player review leaderboards have now been updated, and we have pushed David Alaba up to, he's tied second technically, but we're just going to put him in at third. In first place, it remains David Ginola, second in form Rafinha, tied with David Alaba in form, so essentially he's tied second. Lads, what a card this is, a 9.3 out of 10 for me today, lads. He was just absolutely spectacular, very reliable, very composed, very, like, like I said, small agile getting back his passing as well as absolutely sensational very well-rounded card and in my opinion i'd probably say the I'll say top two La Liga le uh, center backs. I'm not sure on other center backs there is in La Liga. Um, actually, no, I'm going to check. Uh, what other center backs are there in La Liga? Because I know Alaba is definitely up there for me. I used his 84 at the beginning of the game. Uh, I ended up packing him in a 7.5 during 10 hours early access. And he was solid. He wasn't crazy, but he was definitely solid. Right, so I'm looking at concepts right now. La Liga center backs. Um, David Alaba is literally the highest rated one. There's also Kunde, and there is flashback Umtiti. Personally, I would say Alaba is much better than Kunde. So in my opinion, boys, he is the best La Liga center back. And as I said, he does offer that versat versatility. You can play him CDM, you can play him center mid. So depending on your formation, say if you start the game in a 4 triple 2 maybe you put him down to a center back and then you move up to a 4 3 one 2 and maybe you play him CDM or center mid. So he does offer that as well. Lads, I could not recommend this card enough. If you do pick him up, let me know. If you do enjoy him, hopefully you enjoy him as much as I did. It's been your boy Davis and until next time, Peace out, boys.